Betsy DeVos uh, has been the victim of vandals. Uh, they have vandalized her $40 million yacht. Now, the $40 million uh, yacht is not the only yacht she has. I, by the way, let's just stop for a second. $40 million for a boat. Like, it's, I know yachts are expensive. I'm not an idiot. But, like, $40 million. On a $40 boat. million. Dollars. Not one boat. She's got like 10 boats. But anyway, that's the Sea Quest. That is the uh, boat that was vandalized. So, um, I guess someone unhooked it and, that, and it just kind of drifted. Away. Yeah. Um, so there was some damage to the boat. It suffered as much as uh, ten thousand dollars in damages. Uh, DeVos. Uh, how, with how will she ever recover? Yeah. Uh, ten thousand dollars damages on a forty million dollar boat. It's why are we even having a conversation about this? She owns <laughs> nine other luxury boats. How will she ever recover? All right. So I want to be super clear. Don't do that. Don't do property damage. Don't do any damage at all. It's not the right thing to do. Okay. So. Uh, on the other hand, are we like, not on the other hand, don't do it, okay? But are we shedding a tear? Is this like a big national story? Poor Betsy DeVos had $10,000 of damage on a $40 million boat, but it's okay, she could use one of her other nine boats. Mm -hmm. uh, and by boats, we don't mean dinghies, they're all yachts, okay? Mm -hmm. Her family has $1.3 billion. That doesn't mean you should do, that doesn't give you a right to do property damage. Yeah, to them, okay? of course not. And right? that's legal, and you should not do that. And I, look, we don't know anything about. Who did it? Why they did it? We know nothing about that person. Um, so authorities are trying to look for a suspect. They're uh, reviewing po surveillance if there is any. Um, so hopefully they do find the person who did it because that's not right. Uh, but wow, forty million dollars! Like, can I have some of that money? <laughs> just <laughs> the like, left. No. You see that they just want to take the money. Look, all I want, all I want, is. 1.5 million. Okay, and by the way, that sounds like a lot of money, right? But 1.5 million dollars will buy you a 1,500 square foot home in Los Angeles. <laughs> so, like, that's all I want. <laughs> that's all she wants. That's all that's I all. want. Oh, that's all. Okay. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, though, guys. Um, look, we, we nobody wants to just take rich people's money and just give it to random people. Okay, that's I the. I do. No, I'm just kidding. kidding. I don't. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So that's, the, so that's <laughs> the stereotype that they put out there, right? So, but, so what do we want? So in a, in a world where some people have 10 boats, some of which are $40 million, when we say, hey, can we have education for everybody's kids so that they can have equality of opportunity? Not equality of results, Nobody get, and everybody doesn't get $40 million boats, we get that, right? Of, of course, of course, I can't believe we have to even clarify that. But the world is filled with so many right wing lies, right? So, but in, in a world where there's this level of income inequality, is it fair to say, hey, maybe the state tax should be a little bit higher? And, and maybe the corporate taxes should not have been brought down so much that it costs us trillions of dollars, which not only destroys our deficit, but doesn't allow us to fund things that would help all Americans. Maybe is it okay to fight for a higher minimum wage for people who are working really, really hard to actually put food on the table for their family? But they say no, they say no, and what they just did, and it's real, they just gave a tax cut that is now valued at $1.9 trillion, the majority of which goes to the rich. The top 1%, the people like Betsy DeVos who have nine or 10 different boats and they can't keep track. On average, they all got $61,000 tax cut every single year. The DeVos has got way more than that. Millions upon millions of dollars in extra tax cuts that they didn't need. Mm. Then they turn around and say, no, we don't have any money left. We don't have money left for Medicare for all, which by the way actually saves you money, so that makes no sense. We don't have money for your edu kid's education. We don't can't do college for all. But wait a minute, you actually could do that with way less money than the tax cut that you just gave the divorces. So it is a choice. They made a choice to give it to the people with yachts and not to give it to the average American. And it's not a matter of results, all we're looking for is opportunity. And they're denying us that too, because they just don't have enough yachts. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks, one is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber, and second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.